Hi, I'm Rob Kneebone from Visible Body, and I'd like to welcome you to Anatomy and Physiology. Today, I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks that will help you make the most of our app, as well as the latest features of this updated version. Anatomy and Physiology presents core concepts of an undergraduate A&P course. We cover all 12 body systems in 50 chapters. Our latest version has even more content with updated 3D models and over 5,000 human anatomy structures. Let's start with settings. By tapping the gear icon, where you can now choose any one of the five languages, English, German, French, Japanese, or simplified Chinese. We also now offer closed captioning for our video content. Simply tap here. When the units icon is selected, the left side of the screen shows all 12 units. When you select the unit name, it reveals the chapters. The right side of the screen contains all the lessons in that chapter. You can scroll up and down to see all the lessons in all of the chapters. The icon on the left will change when you change the unit you're viewing. Let's jump into the nervous system unit and look at chapter 18, nervous tissue. Each unit contains 3D models, illustrations, and animations. Let's take a look at the chapter on the brain. Here's the lesson on blood supply to the brain. You can see on the left, we teach a lesson on the anatomy in this area, and the underlying key terms are relevant views we pre-selected for you. Note that you're in a live 3D model, so every structure you see is selectable. You get the structure name here, the speaker icon gives you the pronunciation, and the book icon gives you a definition. Tapping the arrow icon shows you the breadcrumb trail. You can rotate and zoom into the models and fade, hide, and bring the structures back again using your mouse. Just click your mouse while holding down the space bar to move the model up and down and from side to side without rotating it. You can collapse the gray carrot on the left to see the model on its own. Just select it again to bring back the text. To get to the next lesson, just select the bottom right arrow. The left arrow will bring you to the previous lesson. Here we are in lesson 20.8 medulla and pons. On the right, you'll see some additional options. You can refresh your view after you're done exploring. You can access tools, which we'll discuss in just a minute. Select help to get quick answers to your questions, as well as access longer tutorials and support. Let's explore tools. The tools in the app help you customize your experience. You download a screenshot, draw on an image, even make a note card. Let's make one. You can draw on a structure, like this. You can give your note card a title and type in notes. The text box can be moved around and you can drag this yellow leader line to point exactly at the structure you choose. To save, just select Download a Screenshot. And you can save the note card to your pictures folder on your computer. Just select Back when you're done. Anatomy and Physiology contains more than 80 animations. They are concise, easy to follow, and we've put the text from the narration right here for you to review. When you select the play icon, the animation will play in full screen. The app also contains more than 85 illustrations. This is our illustration on types of bone cells. When you click on the illustration, it fills the screen. When you want to track how you're doing, use the review checklist. By selecting the checklist icon, you get a list of all checklists for all units. You'll see that since we were just on chapter nine, bone tissue, you're brought right to that checklist. But of course, you can also scroll here at the left to select the desired chapters checklist. Once in the checklist, you can check off topics you feel you've mastered. If you need to revisit the topic, the lesson numbers here will take you right to the content you want to review. When it's time to test your knowledge, take a multiple choice or dissection quiz. Dissection quizzes prompt you to select a piece of the anatomy. You may need to hide or fade a structure to get to the correct answer. I'm being asked to select the left atrium. This is it. So I highlight it and hit submit. And great, I got it right. For the next question, I'm being asked to select the right ventricle. I'm not sure, maybe it's here? You see I've got it wrong, but I'm given the option to see the correct answer. Multiple choice quizzes work in a similar fashion. You're told when you're correct. If you're not, you're given the option to see the correct answer. So here in the quiz in the axial skeleton, I'm asked, which of the following is not a bone of the axial skeleton? That would be the clavicle. So I select it, hit submit, and I got it right. You're given your quiz score at the end. 
Quiz details give you a list of which you got right and wrong. You can also go back and select the next quiz in the chapter, or just exit to go back to the start screen. Last thing I want to show you is the search functionality. Tap in your search term to display your results. I'm going to search for femur. Now I get a list of results, so I'll just select the content I want to view. And to get back to the search results, just select back and select units to return to the start screen. That brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for joining me today.